Singapore's under-22 football team kicked off their Sea Games campaign with a goalless draw against Laos in Group B. And more bad news for Singapore in football. Uh, the uh, poor start continues for the Young Lions, uh, losing 2-0 to Indonesia tonight. We are the future of Singapore football. We have to really step up our game. People always think back to the past and say the past is always better. The past was enjoyable, it was fun, good old days and, and all that. Well done, well done. Yeah, I thought that football here is gonna, is gonna prosper. I can understand their frustrate, uh, frustration as well. I mean, me, me being friends as well at one point of my of my life. Uh, to be honest, we are not at the at the best of situation. I felt that maybe there's a generation of people who were caught up in that era. It's, it's not fair because, yes, my dad's a good player, the, our old national team. They were really good players, yes, but the game has changed. I have to say, I watched some videos of the old games and it was super slow. But look at the game now, you know, everyone is fit, everyone is like fat percentage below 10%. You're telling me before the players are, have 10%, before, I don't believe in that. So. I think it's not fair to compare players now and players then. It's just a whole new ball game now in this generation. I, I went through 91 and 92 where we were terrible. If you ask people how were the 90s, they were saying, if you ask anyone now, Paul, they were fantastic. The only reason why the Singapore team lost was because there's, they have nothing to play for. I mean, it is very, very frustrating for us. The supporters should, the supporters should think twice about supporting Singapore team. I mean, there's so many other sports which they should support instead of the soccer. There are a lot of things that people don't see and people are quick to dismiss. They say, the last 10 years, 20 years, Singapore football, what have we done? We've done more than what maybe some people in the past have done, you know. Are you doing? <laughs> yes, so then how come he? Oh, then I I know why why you're not big because you're dark skin. <laughs> ah, I love it. So, so, so what country? So what can what country are you from? Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> One common thing that ties us together is that we all want Singapore football to succeed. I don't think there's a Singaporean football fan who says. I don't want Singapore football to succeed. In JDT, to be honest, I, I, I don't... Um, although they win five times, six times, I don't think I win anything there. The victories and the defeats mean something to, to, to the individual. For me, I always had that feeling that this is my team. We are in a very privileged position because we are in the business of bringing happiness to people. Goosebumps, man. Yeah. Yeah. From young, always dream of, uh, you know, um, seeing the national anthem in front of like a, a, a huge crowd. It's the biggest honor, you know, massive honor. It's a responsibility as well for us to actually bring the nation together. When I enter the pitch, I give my, my 100%. Whether you play good or whether you play bad, you know, be proud you are representing the nation, you know. I mean, that, that will be everybody's dream to, wear, to be in the World Cup. You know, and I hope we can one day reach that goal. But everybody has to do, you know, it's not just one player that can, can do this. It's a, one, it's a whole team and the whole country have to help as well.